クラタンじゃないさくらちゃんお得意の洋食ね Today we're going to make the gratin from Emiya Gohan. Start off with the chicken breast. The ones that I bought were a little bit too big, so this one's already been cut down to size. You're going to want to dice those up into little bite-sized bits, and make sure you do this on a separate cutting board or wash your cutting board and knife afterwards. Next, we're going to take the asparagus. We're going to want you to cut off the spearheads and then take a skinner and remove the bottoms off of all of these. That gets rid of the hard root part that makes it kind of difficult to eat. Then just put it in the pot of boiling water that you had going that you told nobody about. Take an onion, spin it 360 degrees, and chop off the head and the butt of it. And then you're going to want to skin it and then dice it as well. I like my onion bits to be a little bit thicker personally, that's why they seem so large. So in Emiya Gohan, they add bamboo shoots into their gratin. I've never really tried bamboo shoots in gratin before, or gratin at all for that matter. Dice this up in much the same way. Remove your asparagus from the boiling water, shock it with some cold water really quickly, remove it, bring it over here, and you're going to want to chop that as well. Now this recipe in particular wants you to cut it in a way so that you have longer bits. I prefer it to be diced, so I'm going to dice mine instead, like so. I prefer it this way, but maybe the next time I make it I'll try the actual authentic Emiya Gohan way. Next, we're going to apply some macaroni to some boiling hot water and just ruin my camera. Put the chicken into a hot pan that has oil going. You're going to want to cook that till it's nice and white, no pink is really visible, and you're going to add your onions as well. You're going to want to saute those together or until the onions begin to sweat. Afterwards, throw an entire thing of macaroni that you forgot to record, add a cup of preserved pasta water that you kept from draining, and also add in a cup of milk as well. Next is a cream stew cube. I broke this up off screen because they required both of my hands, but I'm going to add that in. It's going to thicken everything up and add a very nice flavor to everything. Once everything is thickened up, you're going to transfer it all over to an oven safe pot. This is one that I bought specifically for this video, and I'll be using it a lot in the future. Next, we have the king of this entire recipe, the mozzarella cheese. My recommendation is that you go pretty heavy with the cheese, that way it soaks deeper into the entire dish when it's baking. Then you're going to put the asparagus on the top as well, and then you're going to add breadcrumbs to the very, very top layer. Now, I'm going to tell you up front, when I put it into my oven the first time, because of the way how my oven is made, it actually almost set them on fire, so I had to move them around a little bit. That's just something to keep in mind. But look at this gratin with this great amount of cheese at the very, very top. It only takes about 7 minutes to bake, give or take, and the prep all in all is maybe about 30 minutes. So this is 100% a recipe that I recommend that you try at home. It's really, really simple, easy to make, and oh my god is it tasty. I ate this for the next two days afterwards because I thought this was a small serving, but oh my god it was filling. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, let me know down below. If there's anything else that you would like me to cook, please let me know down there as well. So if this is something that catches your interest, subscribe, because I want to be doing more stuff like this in the future, albeit a little bit at a time. That's all for now, guys. Keep your chin up. Peace.